Paris, 13th district, out in theaters, new black and white film from writer-director Jacques Audiard. It's based on a comic book anthology called Optic Nerve, adapting three stories from there and sort of adapting it into a single movie, which does consist of multiple intertwining storylines. And these storylines center around three main characters, all relatively young people, all living in the titular 13th district of Paris, a place with characteristic, uh, characteristic high-rise apartment buildings and Chinese restaurants down on the street level. Emilie is a Chinese immigrant uh, working a sort of dead-end job at a call center uh, looking for a roommate to come live with her in an apartment that belongs to her grandmother. One day Camille comes knocking, but it turns out that Camille is a guy. He's a black teacher um, of literature who's also preparing to finish some exams at his university. Initially reluctant to even speak to him, um, Emilia ends up spending the evening and then the night with Camille as they have immediate chemistry and attraction towards one another. And for a while it's just the two of them, until a third person enters the story, Nora, a girl who has just arrived in Paris to finish her studies from which she took a break some years before. She's hopeful, optimistic and open, at least initially, but then things become more complicated and the three of them begin sort of crossing paths and coming in and out of each other's lives. So. The film attempts to be a very timely examination of modern relationships, of the big city culture of dating, and the conflicting ideas of meaningful connections and non-committal flings, the fleeting 21st century romance complete with dating apps, etc. Uh, it also tries to search for roots of all the various flawed behaviors in trauma related to family. Uh, each of the three main characters has something in their family that casts a shadow over their current selves. For Emily, that's the sick grandma in the hospital down with Alzheimer's and barely even recognizing her anymore. For Camille, it's grief after his mother's passing, which he's still not over. And for Nora, there's something related to her uncle, which I won't spoil because this one is a more significant reveal than the other two. Now, I don't think that the film totally succeeds at what it tries to do. I think that the atmosphere of this specific place, this characteristic district of Paris, that works very well and creates a strong feeling of, of being transported there. The cinematography is quite pretty and the performance is rather good, but I found the script to be rather meandering and unfocused and I, I felt that for the majority of the runtime it didn't really know where it was going, only in the last 10 minutes suddenly deciding to resolve all three of the storylines. I also found that it didn't stay with me. Uh, what I mean is usually when I leave the movie theater, okay, I actively think about what I've just seen. I try to sort of digest the themes, figure out what worked and what didn't work for me. And sometimes I'll end up think about the film, thinking about the film uh, for days or even weeks in very rare cases. But this one I realized as I was coming home that five minutes later I was already thinking about something else and, and there wasn't that much that I felt I needed to process. I just saw it and whilst I didn't find it bad or boring as it was being presented in front of me, as soon as it ended, that was over for me. And, you know, perhaps I feel that in the case of this film this might be a very personal thing because I can see the film working for other people and, and you may very well find it amazing and I wouldn't argue with that. But for me, purely personally, it was unimpressive.